Oh, hey, how you doing? Professor Hiccup here. Um, today, um, we're going to do a reaction to the band B BKS, I think it was. Um, let's take a look at this. When I was on my Google News feed, I actually got this article that said, BTS sets another massive Guinness World Record with Dynamite. And it got me thinking for a second. I'm familiar with the name BTS. I know they're a K-pop band. Uh, but other than that, I don't think I've ever really heard any of their music. Um, I see their stuff everywhere. Like if you're at the mall, like at uh, Spencer's or Hot Topic, they just sell tons of B B BTS stuff. Uh, it's just everywhere. I think I saw them in a Samsung phone commercial the other day, uh, but I wasn't really paying attention, so I don't I didn't really notice the music. But I know they're a boy band. Uh, boy bands have been around forever. I mean. You can go back and say, you know, the Beatles were a boy band, and there's been so many bands through the years. I mean, everyone from, you know, Jackson 5 to the Osmonds to NSYNC to Menudo to Westlife to Jonas Brothers to One Direction to, to geez, it goes on and on and on. New Kids on the Block, um, 98 Degrees. I mean, you could just go on and on and on with, with these bands. So boy bands are not something new. Uh, boy bands usually focus on singing and uh, their music to younger girls, women, uh, known back in the day as teeny boppers. Uh, and they used to call it bubblegum music because uh, girls were known for chewing gum. Uh, so they called it bubblegum music and it switched to uh, uh, pop music. And now this is K-pop music, which means Korean pop music. Uh, you know what? I don't even know what BTS stands for. Let's take a look at this. BTS. And wiki. Wikipedia. All right. So BTS is also known as the Bankton Boys, is a seven member South Korean boy band that began formation in 2010. They've been around for quite a while. Uh, and it debuted in 2013 under Big Hit Entertainment. All right. So they are uh, uh, a band that was put together, it looks like. Um, the Septet, Septet, which is seven. Uh, composed of RM, Jin, Suga, J Hope, Jamin, and Jungkook. Uh, co writes and produces much of their own output. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, originally a hip hop group, their musical style has evolved to include a wide range of genres. Their lyrics often focus on personal and social commentary, touch on themes of mental health, troubles of school age youth, loss, the journey towards loving oneself, and individualism. Basically, they're hitting every topic that's uh, big on, on Twitter and Tumblr with the younger generation. So uh, they know where their market is. They're very smart kids. All right. So um, let's uh, get into this and see what this is all about. So I'm definitely not in their demographics of, of uh, who they're aiming their music at. But it doesn't mean I, don't need, I can't appreciate decent music if it's decent. Let's see what these guys do. And like I said, this is for all sorts of music awards or Guinness's World Record awards, uh, YouTube awards. Uh, I can't remember what I said before. Teenage, teenage pop awards or whatever. Uh, all sorts of records. We'll see what this is all about.
just a second. All right. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're they got talent. I, I'm not going to deny it. Um, it's nothing new, nothing I haven't seen before. Uh, as far as a a boy group, I mean, in the beginning, right away, he did a Michael Jackson move from the Jackson Five. Um, you know, when there's a record store, you can see there's some different uh, pop albums, famous pop albums. I think I saw Wham in there and some other stuff. Um, just the fact that they were at a record store was wicked cool. Um, and I think like each one of these guys has a diff- different identity. Like I'm sure there's the tough one and the and the you know the good looking one and the, the the heartbreaker and you know all the different uh, uh, stereotypes I should say, which isn't uh, uh, something that's that's uh, uh, good to say out loud. But that's how these boy bands operate. Is they each one has a different I- individual identity, and they usually use that identity to draw in more viewers. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely aimed at uh, uh, women, girls. Um, it's not something someone my age uh, would absolutely be s- uh, searching out all the time. Well, I'm sure there's definitely people uh, my age who appreciate them. But it's definitely pop, highly produced. Uh, I can't tell the difference in the voices yet too much. Although, although from this guy to the next guy, there is a def- definite difference. Uh, but highly, like I said, highly produced, a lot of money put into this video. Uh, I'm not understanding the concept of the song yet. There's a lot of just random sentences in there. Uh, but as far as the music goes, the music is a lot of fun. I got to admit that. It's really a lot of fun. And this is something I, I definitely wouldn't mind, you know, playing in my car as I'm driving, just bopping and, and enjoying it because the music is fun without a doubt. Okay, um, that is over. Let's make sure it doesn't restart again. So yeah. Uh, hey, are you under 1,000 YouTube subscribers and need uh, help growing? If not, just... Boom. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, these guys are, are a lot of fun. Uh, highly produced, fantastic dancers. Voices were very good, but I can't tell the difference between the voices. Um, which I'm sure, you know, if I was a regular listener, I'd be able to pick them up. I mean, to this day, I can still tell the difference in, in uh, uh, bands like Two Kids on the Block and, and uh, In Sync. Um, I used to be able to tell you name for name, but you know, you can tell when their voices change. Uh, especially bands like Hanson or Westlife, you can hear a huge difference in the voices. These voices were very close, uh, but like I said, this is something I, I, I did enjoy it. I'm not going to deny it. I absolutely did enjoy it. Definitely not aimed for my age group, um, but definitely a lot of fun at the same time. And I can understand 100% why people love this group. Uh, you know, all the guys are extremely good looking, 
great dancers, great music. Uh, they're they're the total package. Uh, but every couple of generations, you know, I shouldn't say generations. Every couple of years, uh, there's going to be a big boy band, and there always has been. I think the biggest one before these guys maybe was One Direction, I guess. Um, and it's like every 10, 15 years, it seems like one comes out, stands out. Uh, although back sometimes you have two or three running at the same time compete against each other. Uh, but I don't know much about K-pop. I'm sure there's plenty of other bands in K-pop. Uh, so do me a favor, and if by chance you want me to do another BTS song, uh, or even do another uh, K-pop song, put it down in the comments. Uh, I promise I won't talk as much uh, in the beginning, uh, but you know I, I I do talk sometimes depending on what's in my head. That's the way it goes. But for now, I'm going to say that's a wrap.